From where it started at was in 2017. It actually started with a herd of goats uh, when we started dating. I was raising some show goats for my FFA students to get them interested. And we started with that and then got into cattle. Uh, once we got into cattle, we uh, sold out of the goats and we ended up with uh, three heifers and 13 acres is what we used. And we literally had no equipment or anything to the point we were actually pushing hay bales off of a trailer. Uh, we just kept it growing slow. Uh, kind of one of our goals was never going dead on it. And we ended up, uh, we're up to now about a dozen uh, total. We graze around 60, give or take a few acres. And uh, we now sell sides of beef. We move from cow calf op uh, operation to we keep the calves and uh, and sell them off the sides of beef now. I grew up in a military family, so we the chance we stayed in Arkansas for several years, um, but we were always at risk for moving, so we were never able to have you know cattle or you know any pigs or you know anything like that. And I come from a family of athletes. I come along had no athletic ability whatsoever. I found my interest in and in love of farming. Uh, even as a little kid raising chickens, we would just keep a backyard flock of chickens. My parents seen my interest in it. Uh, and in ninth grade, we built a barn and started uh, raising shorthorn heifers. It grew into raising market steers and uh, market hogs as well. And I decided in ninth grade that I wanted to be an ag right teacher. Uh, I took the job in Conway as a long-term sub in 2016 and then got hired on in 2017. My main goal the whole time has been, I want to give kids that same feeling I got. They find something they're good at and shine in it. Six years ago, we had 80 kids in the program with 12 being an FFA. Today, we average around 110 to 120 in FFA, about 250 to 260 in the program. I'm a high-risk labor and delivery nurse at UAMS, so I work with high-risk labor and delivery. I help women deliver babies. I help, you know, go to the OR, help them in recovery, go to triage. Um, I transition babies. I take care of the babies for the first few hours of their lives. Um, but recently, I also took on a float pool position, so I also work in the NICU and the neonatal ICU with babies um, and on postpartum. My job is very high stress, and it is nice to come home, work with the animals, you know, in the evenings and not have to worry about work, and it, you know, kind of distracts me from my day, and I really, that is something that we both, both of us really do enjoy about it. We, we really just do it because we love it. Um, it's just... It's something we thoroughly enjoy doing, and you know we don't we don't get rich doing it. We actually the name Big and Rich was actually just an ironic name. We started with three cows and 13 acres, you know. Uh, be who, name who you want to be. So we we're small and little, so we called it Big and Rich. But that's kind of a joke. But it, 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 you know, as long as we're breaking even and able to you know give something to our kids uh, to enjoy later on in life, then you know we we feel like we had a successful farm.